welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have for you um, all about plus size bras. <laughs> so if you are a well endowed lady and you're interested in what I think is a good bra, um, just keep watching. Okay guys, um, I this was a highly, highly requested video. I um, have been asked quite a bit about um, bras. So I wanted to take the time where I had a little bit of time today to go over what I think are some really good brands and what I feel you know we should look for when we're buying our bras. Now the first thing I wanna go over is the importance of being measured, okay? And I know that there are several stores out there, ooh, excuse me, that measure um, for bras. What I will suggest to you that, you know, a lot of us go into Lane Bryant to get measured or Victoria's Secrets. And what I want to explain to you is those are, the people that are usually measuring you in there are usually part-time sales associates. They're there from, you know, anywhere from 5 to 20 hours a week. And that's just a small portion of their job. That's not something that, you know, they're trained heavily on. And I know because I used to work for them. <laughs> um, and no shade to them at all. It's just, you know, it's something that if you are not... Um, comfortable with touching other people's bodies and sometimes they're a little shy and you know their method isn't always exact so what I want to tell you is when you're getting measured um, the best way to do it is to remove the bra and I know that you may be uncomfortable with someone else seeing you naked um, so if you want to get yourself a tape measure you can do it at home but what you want to do is is you want to take when you take off the bra, you want to hold your breasts up, okay? So you want to hold them where they should be, you know, hold them up as far as you can and let them measure around the smallest part of your back, okay? And that's going to give you the size of the band. And then while you have them held up, you want them to hold them, you want them to measure them at the center part of the breast, okay? And then the two, the difference between the two based on inches will tell you exactly what the cup size is. So let's just say they measure around your back and it says 36 or 38, and then they measure around the fullest part of your bust while it's lifted up and they get, you know, 46 or 48. When you take that, those two different, when you take the inches away from there, there's a chart that'll give you the exact cup size. Now, I feel that the best place that I've ever been measured at is a lingerie store and Nordstrom's. Um, I really feel like um, they are a little bit more educated, especially at a lingerie store, to you know fit you properly, especially a lot of us full-size women um, that have you know really large breasts. If your breasts hang, if they're hanging, and you have on an improper bra when they're measuring you, then they're not gonna get the fullest size of your, you know, of your breast. They're gonna get, you know, the flat part here because the 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 weft, the weight of the breast, the hefty part of the breast is hanging down, all right? And then I want you guys to remember that when you're holding your breast up like that, all on the side here is bosom too, is breast too. And all that needs to be considered to fit into a cup. And a lot of times, when you know they're measuring you with the wrong size bra that you have um, in Lane Bryant and things like that, like I said, they're measuring you at the wrong part. So one, you really should have your clothes off, and two, you really should go to a, a professional. Once you get that size, then you're free to roam around to different brands to see what size, you know, what bra that you feel most comfortable in. So let's just say you go to a Nordstrom's or you go to a lingerie store, and the prices, the bras there, prices are you know, considerably higher than what you would get at Elaine Bryant or an Ashley Stewart or a um, Matort. Um, just know <laughs> that you could still take that size that they gave you as a gauge and then start, so you have a starting point in that store to decide which ones you're gonna use. Now, another thing about the bras that you get at Victoria's Secrets and Lane Bryant, the shelf life of those bras, the wire bras I'm speaking of, is is a lot shorter than some of the more expensive brands. Um, one, it's really based on how many times you wear the bra and how you wash and care for it. If you are washing your bras and you're sticking them in the dryer, it's doing this. So it's taking the elasticity out of it and then the wire isn't as reinforced as it is in some of the brands that I'm gonna tell you today, okay? So first thing is I'm gonna show you um, a couple of bras that I like, and I just pulled out two random bras out of my drawer. I'm gonna probably name another brand, and what I'll do is I'll link it below for you, and I'll tell you why it is that I choose those bras, okay? Um, I also got another question um, about bras, and it was like, what bras do I wear under white shirts or, uh, you know, 
t-shirts and things like that. The bras that I buy are made to be seen. So if they are discreetly seen a little bit, it's okay because they're a fancier bra. But if you are someone that is modest and you're just looking for, you know, something to, you know, be discreet, I would say wear a nude colored bra. You could never go wrong with nude. Um, I would also suggest that if you venture off into some of the more, you know, bras that have a little bit more going on, a lot more lace or, you know, a, a little jewel or something like that, that gives you an opportunity to, you know, kind of leave it unbuttoned a little bit so that people can see just a little hint of it. It's almost like wearing a bralette without really wearing a bralette um, because it'll have a lot of lace on it. And I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. This bra right here is beautifully laced, and let me get it as close as I can, and it's a beautiful color, and I don't think, and it fits flat, and that's another thing. Your bra should fit flat in the middle of your chest, and there should be two separate breasts. Not one shelf, but two separate breasts. That is the correct fit of the bra. If you have that shelf, um, that's not the right size for you. And you want to make sure that you're fully in the cup. There is no spillage at the top, on the side, in the back, or any of that. Be very, very um, cautious when dealing with the sides of the bras. Um, people don't realize that that side fat really needs a place to go. If you have back fat or side fat, then you're looking for bras that have that really tall, um, a really thick band around the back and the sides. I would not recommend getting anything that had less than three clips if you are someone that suffers from back fat or what I call side boobs. Um, and I'll tell you what side boobs are. I am a side boob girl, okay? When I lose weight, I have a very full size cup. I actually wear a 36G, all right? When I lose weight, um, I go down to like a 34 or a 32G. If you've noticed, I haven't said that my cup size have changed, it's just my back changes. But when you look at me, you think, well, gosh, her breasts aren't that big. They are, it's just that my back has went down. Like I said, as I lose weight, you'll see that I shrivel up on top first before I do on the bottom, and everything starts to go in, but the cup stays the same. And I'm, I, I'm probably lucky for that, because what I usually do as I gain weight, I'll just put an extender, <laughs> I'll put an extender on it on some of my older ones um, that I still like um, so that I can still wear them because I know that the cup doesn't change. But back to this bra and, because I'm all over the place, back to this bra and it being um, the decorations on it. I like to buy the bras that are very pretty with the lace um, and sometimes having a little jewel. I will buy as many colors as I possibly can. Um, I don't necessarily always have to have a thick strap. These straps are substantial enough for me. Um, what I do like to have is, like I said, is making sure that it has a three band and that it has large enough sides to make sure that my breasts are fully inside of the cup because that is super, super important. This is one of the brands that I love. This is Waco and it fits wonderfully. Nordstrom's carries it. You can Google it to see if someone else cheaper sells it. I know that Nordstrom's usually has like these on sale, like there's a seasonal sale always and it'll be the seasonal colors. Also a bra called Alumni, Alumi, Alumi. I will link it below because I can't remember the name of it. They're an awesome uh, bra too if you have what is known as a side boob and you need the large sides like I do on the side. Um, although their selection is kind of really basic. So when I buy that brand, the Alumi, Alum, Alumi or whatever it's called, I usually just buy the nudes and the blacks in it because they tend to have maybe one or two new colors per season. Um, whereas Waco will give you a lot of different colors, a lot of different, um, you know, finishes. They'll, some of the bras will be satin, some of the bras will be lace. These are um, two of the newer ones that I picked up for the summer that I got on clearance. Here it is in peach, you know, really pretty, pretty bras. Um, and they do have the matching set, so if you like to have the set like you see, you know, at Victoria's Secrets, you can. Okay, so let's talk about... Victoria's Secrets bras, okay? So we know that um, G cup is four Ds, really. But when I'm smaller, I can actually fit into Victoria's Secrets bras. And it isn't so much that my cup sh shrinks as much as there's a certain style of bra that I'm able to actually, my cup is able to actually fit into. Um, my breasts don't really droop a lot, so I don't have to worry about being super, super lifted. I mean, I, I do need some lift because, you know, I am older, 
but you know they don't hang excessively we'll just put it that way so here is another one that I usually buy and this one is oh man I can't give you the model number oh this is the Demi the Demi bus bra okay so this is that Demi cup that even though this part's gonna lay flat against your chest you're gonna have that cleavage that kind of comes slightly out the top here but this part will like lean forward. Now this is another one of those bras that I like to slightly show. So you may see me with this on with the denim shirt in the summertime with this a little bit showing, or you may see it, you know, with one of the white button ups or things like that. I think it's nice when you have a really pretty bra and just a little bit peeks out, you know, not like open all the way, but just a tiny bit tastefully peeking out. Um, and that's my opinion on what I do. So these do work. What I did was I went around to try to find what had the biggest band on the side that would accommodate me. And I use that. And then what I usually do is I go up one size in the back, which is the 38. This is the 38 triple D and I'll do that. And I, uh, these are like that t-shirt bra, so it'll give you that smooth finish. Um, but this is kind of like what I'm going to be doing for the spring and summer. Um, but I love, you know, this, it's cotton filled. Now, what I will say is the shelf life of these are not as long as the Waco or the Illumi that I told you guys about. The shelf life of these Victoria's Secrets bras are pretty much the same as um, the Torrid, the Ashley Stewart, and the Lane Bryant. I would give them maybe two or three months if you excessively wear them. If you don't, I mean, if it's a once a week bra or a bra you wear every blue moon, it's okay. Just remember, ladies, these kind of bras you have to wash um, by hand or if you have that you know the new wash machines like my my wash machine has like you know the delicate you know cycle on it so that is the information that I have for you guys um, bras today I hope that cleared up you know um, some questions that you know that you guys had that you were asking me about you know what I thought about different bras and what brands and things like that I used like I said I will link the two brands below um, so you guys can kind of like go through the internet to see you know what you find and which ones you like um, I know I was kind of all over the place but I'm hungry and the only thing I'm drinking is water um, but I'm gonna get out of here I know I've linked an outfit of the day for you guys because I didn't do one yesterday and this isn't in the outfit I'm cold my husband has turned off the heat and it's freezing outside because he says we are not, you know, giving the energy people another dollar. So April, every April 1st, baby, he turns off the heat. So I'm in here teeth chattering. I'm cold as hell. But, and my nose is starting to run. But, you know, I get it. I get it. <laughs> so I will um, see you guys later. So just stay tuned for the outfit of the day. Okay, guys, I wanted to do a really quick outfit of the day with you guys because I know I didn't get to do one yesterday. So we're going to just jump right in. Um, we start with accessories. I'm wearing the Tory Borch earrings um, that you guys have seen before um, from Valentine's Day Spoil. Um, this is a bandana, a cotton bandana from Nordstrom's that I got for like $8. And I think I still saw them there. I'm wearing the leopard coat from Lane Bryant, a cotton t-shirt from um, American Eagle, and it's called the Super Soft uh, t-shirt. And then I'm wearing the ex-boyfriend jeans from Torrid and I love these jeans these are the best jeans ever these and the slim fit boyfriend and the ex-girlfriend or the girlfriend jeans um if you are bigger in the thigh area these are like perfect for you because they um they're much more relaxed to the thigh than like a skinny leg jean is and it's not as big as a regular boyfriend jean so it's not going to be like super slouchy and then I'm wearing the Paul Green peak toe um what do you call them? Peep toe booties. And those are still available at um, Nordstrom's. And I just have on a Gucci watch and a bangle, a black bangle from Henry Bindo. If I can show it. Right there. There you go. And um, what else is there? Oh, and then on my lips is the Kat Von D Outlaw. I'm back to the matte lipsticks. I love those Too Faced chocolate lipsticks, but... <laughs> Everything I tried on yesterday um, for the video I did for you guys, baby, that lipstick, that chocolate lipstick was on every single thing. <laughs> I'm like, damn. And I know it's probably because I was rushing, but still, I'm just, I think I'm used to the matte lip, so I'm going to have to be extra careful when I wear that, although I do love it. And then I'm wearing for sunglasses, the Michael Kors um, sunglasses that I showed you guys in my collection with the tortoise on the side. And for handbag... I'm wearing just my Clara Vivier messenger bag. Um, 
because I'm out and about working. I'm actually going to be doing um, shopping today. So I'm going to be in and out of, you know, furniture stores and all kinds of stuff like that. So I just wanted to wear something comfortable. Um, when I mix, because it's a little chilly today. So when I mix winter pieces with, you know, spring pieces, what I try to do is, um, you know, put a lighter color on. Like instead of putting black on with this, I tried to put brown on with it to just kind of lighten it a little bit. Um, so it doesn't look so wintry. I know black would be fine. Um, and then I put on a spring shoe, even though I have on a winter coat. But I like to do that. I like to mix the two seasons like that together anyway. So I'm going to step back so you guys can see um, the full outfit. So this is what it looks like. That's it. So it's kind of just a relaxed, everyday look. Nothing over the top special, just something quick. I had to be out at 6.30 this morning, um, so I wanted to, you know, just throw on something as fast as I could. So this is kind of what I came up with. Um, and that's everything I have for you guys, so I'll see you guys in the next video.